If you're trying to reset your Windows PC and you get the following error, could not find the recovery environment, then I'm gonna show you how to fix this within your Windows PC. Before we jump in guys, would you mind take a moment to give this video a like and hit that subscribe button? Cause this will let me know that you found value within this video. And on top of that, the biggest benefit is that you'll never miss out when I release future videos just like this one. Now let's continue. So all you have to do guys is just simple click the Windows icon on your taskbar and simple type in CMD and you want to go ahead and run this as administrator. So you can right click run as administrator. Now once the command prompt comes up, you want to go ahead and you want to run this following command. There are two commands that I'll be sharing with you and you want to go ahead and run them. I'll put them within the description of this video. So what you want to type in, you want to go ahead and type in the following command that you can find here on the screen. Go ahead and type that in and hit enter. Now, if you see that the recover environment here, which you can see here, my current status is enabled, but if yours is disabled, all you have to do is just go in and type the following command as I shared with you before from info, but this time you want to go ahead and type in enable instead of the info. So you will find both of these put in the description of this video, but you want to go ahead and type in this and hit enter and it will enable the recovery environment for you. Now, once this is done, go ahead and try to reset your PC and see if that helps. Now, if this does not work, you will need a flash drive. So go ahead and get a flash drive, an empty flash drive. You want to go ahead and format that flash drive so that you can create a recovery disk. And to create a recovery disk is pretty easy. Click the Windows key and keyboard again and you simply want to go ahead and type create a recovery drive as you can see here so click on create a recovery drive go ahead and click yes and you want to follow these steps to create a recovery drive now guys i want to mention while you can follow that step to create a recovery drive within windows there are times when it does not work as it should and i want to share this application with you that i'm currently using by a yomi backup or professional that you can actually use and this works for all version of windows and you can use it to back up your system to schedule your system and also to create a recovery drive now i'm going to show you real quick how this tool is and some amazing tool that it comes with so i'm going to go ahead and show you my Aomi recovery backupper Now, this is the Yomi Backup Professional, and as you can see here, you can do quite a lot with this. Now, if you click on Backup, you can do System Backup, you can do Disk Backup, File Backup, Partition Backup, Email, Outlook, and Cloud Backup. You can do quite a lot of backup here, and if you go down to Sync, you can do Basic, Real-Time, Mirror, and even Two-Way Sync. You also can do a Restore, you can also do Clone, you can do a System Clone, Disk Clone, Partition Clone, and you also have quite a lot of tools here that you can use. So here you can create a bootable media, you can do an explore image, you can do recovery environment as you can see here as well, disk wipe, check image, view logs, storage management, notification settings, import export configuration, and even create portable versions. So if you scroll on as well, you also have additional tools here that you can use, right? You have an IOMI PXE boot tool, you have the IOMI image of deploy, and IOMI centralized backupper. You also have some additional free tools such as the remote desktop, which if you click on this, it's gonna be the any viewer, as you can see here, you can download and install that, as well straight into IOMI backupper, you have the My Recover, and you also have iPhone backup and transfer and this partition manager. So quite a lot of essential tools come with this so quite a lot of essential features and tools here within the Ayoma backup that you can use in case you're looking for an all-in-one reliable tool that can do everything that you need right so as i said i'll be sharing the link to this Ayoma backup tool within the description of this video you can simply come here and download the Ayoma backup you can try it for free and in case you would like to upgrade as well they have a professional plan that you can always use as well so you can check that out as well and on top of that you can find more information here regarding the current error and could not find recover environment in windows and as you can see you have a full detail information you have full detail information here that you can reach you that can help you to fix the issue here you have it guys i really hope you found value within this video and if you do don't forget to take a moment to give this video a like and hit that subscribe button so that you'll never miss out when i release future videos just like this one. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.